everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing the not last unboxing. It's definitely not the last unboxing. I'm going to have a ton of more unboxings. These are the stragglers that have made it to the house before the move. So the reason I haven't been doing unboxings is because they have actually been going to my parents' house uh, because we are moving. <laughs> we are moving. I've said this in a ton of videos, but my unboxing video people tend to be a little different than like my vlog people. Some of them overlap, but generally I have a lot more people that watch the unboxings. So yeah, that is why we haven't been doing these is because I am moving. So I think some of these are February. I don't think any are March. I think I got all the March boxes to my parents house so i believe these three are the last three that i have with me we're just gonna have like a bunch to unbox probably sometime in april i think so this is the last one we're gonna have for a little bit but we have the i think february alcrate young adult the adult fairy loot february and the young adult fairy loot february and then we also have a special edition box it's literally massive it's literally massive. So I am a rep for Unplugged. I'm still going to be honest with what I think about the box, etc. And we'll talk about pricing and stuff like that. But Unplugged Book Box has switched to a special edition only company. And that way they can kind of focus on their special edition boxes more while not having the stress of doing multiple monthly boxes. So this is the Journey to Wonderland box, special edition box. And I'm pretty excited about it. So I feel like I want to do, do I want to do this one first? I kind of want to do this one first because I don't know anything that's in this. And I know like, I feel like I know some of the stuff that's in here. I've seen it over the month since these are February boxes. So I think we're going to start with the unplugged one. The unplugged one. Uh, I've said it in previous videos again, but I'll repeat it again. The lighting is a bit weird because I'm selling the house. I don't have any of my normal stuff with me. It's just kind of a mess right now. <laughs> so we're just going to get through this as best we can. But anyway, this is the Journey to Wonderland box. I want to say this was supposed to be... Oh, when is this supposed to come out? I think February. I think we were supposed to get this in February because the picture timeline things are the beginning of March and it is obviously, I tried to look over there, I just have the time. And it is the 15th, I think today, something like that, 15th or 16th. And we even got a little apology note, uh, hi friends, we had shipping delays, etc. So this is the full box, has everything in it. I am so excited to see what's in here. Like you can just see how big this thing is. So I'm just, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Big items already. There is a sweatshirt in here that I can already see that I already like the design of. I don't know what size I got it. I'm in between a medium and a large most times just because I like bigger sweatshirts. I like more comfort. So I'll let you guys know the sizing and the fit on, on things because it'll probably be similar for future boxes if they do sweatshirts and shirts later. So first thing is first, we have a nondescript box. I feel like I shouldn't check things because this box tends to have breakable. <laughs> so yeah, it's a breakable. It's a breakable. Okay, so we have this little lid first. Look cute lid. And then we have, this is a very, that did not sound great. This is a very, very good box. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is, I think this is probably a, tea diffuser in here. Part of me does not want to like unwrap it because everything's wrapped super well. Yep, so this is like a diffuser. You can put tea or fruit or whatever you want in there and it'll diffuse into the teapot, which is stunning. <laughs> it looks so cool. This artwork is so cool. Oh my gosh. Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah. And this whole box is Alice in Wonderland, in Wonderland themed. But even if you don't like Alice in Wonderland, you can get an idea of what their future special edition boxes are going to be like. This is so cool. This is awesome. So you put that in there to diffuse and then this sits on top. That is so cool. This may be actually one of my favorite teapots because they got from one from lit joy i don't remember what box it was from and i i did not like the design on it this is like a full 
design. This is actually really, really nice. This is getting immediately repacked up. <laughs> like, this is the problem with moving. I have to immediately repack everything <laughs> and put it away. Just like kind of sad because this looks so pretty, but it's also kind of good because then I, I shouldn't lose it and I'm gonna keep it in the, this like box that it came in. And it was already packaged really, really nice. Okay, so that was the first item. I do have the sweatshirt right here. I feel like I wanna do this last because I actually have to open it up and put it on and like see if it fits. So we're gonna do this a little bit later. Okay, next we have another box. There's a lot of stuff in here. We have another nondescript box. It is pretty heavy and it looks like it may be a candle, I believe. Looks like a candle still, maybe. Yes, it is a candle. Ooh, this is fresh. This is Forest Rose and Cinnamon. I think it's done by the Unplugged Book Box team, maybe? So we have the Queen of Hearts design on there. And just we have a little bit of loose flower and yeah, so Cinnamon and what did I say? Cinnamon and Forest Rose. That's pretty nice, that smells pretty nice. I think I'm okay with that one. Again, most of the time, a lot of candles will aggravate my allergies, but that one, we're borderline on that one. <laughs> as long as the cinnamon is stronger when it burns. Okay, we have, I feel like, a pretty iconic Alice in Wonderland item. We have the watch that the White Rabbit has. I'm not an expert on Alice in Wonderland, so I may say some of this stuff wrong, but I feel like this is a pretty iconic piece. This looks really cool. I don't know what it is. I wonder if it is just a watch. Okay, this is pretty cool. Oh, okay. So you open it up and it's got the Cheshire cat face on there. And then you do have a, a watch up there, but then on the back, that should play music, I believe. So let's see if I can get this. kind of creepy. I wasn't also expecting that song specifically. <laughs> I feel like that's an interesting song to put with this, but yeah, this is pretty cool. It's very sturdy as well, and it's it looks really cool. I really like how this inside looks. Okay, we have, oh, that just popped right out. <laughs> okay, so we have, this did not seal right. We have a bookmark. And this is what it looks like. I'm trying to hold it the right way because Alice is falling down. So that's pretty cool. I like the wooden or the wooden bookmark, the metal bookmark. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't see, that makes me think this is done by an overseas country. I don't know. We're gonna look up who designed this. So hopefully we have like a, a small business that designed this. Okay, I hear metal. This looks like, huh, don't know what this is. Does this go on? So it's, I have a chain here. Oh, okay. I'm assuming this goes to, that's what it is. This goes to our, I assume it goes to this and you're supposed to have it like a pocket watch. So I assume it's supposed to attach like this and then you have like it's supposed to, you attack, you clip it on and then you pull it out like that, like a breast pocket or something like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I see the book, but I want to do the book last. Okay, we have Riddle's Tea Shop. I know a lot of people love Riddle's Tea Shop. Blueberry Scone Loose Leaf. Ooh, and then it always has the flavoring on the back. There's blueberry and raspberry leaves in here with some almond flavor and vanilla and blueberries. That is really, really cute. Drink me, that is perfect for an Alice in Wonderland box. Oh my goodness. This might be one of the bigger items that I've gotten. And this explains why the box was so big. Okay, so the last item, except for the sweatshirt, we have, look at that, the white rabbit clock. That is so cute, and I feel like this is a good aesthetic that a lot of people are going to like. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. This I love this type of artwork. 
Like, I love this. I really, really like this. This is going right back in there. <laughs> okay, so last we have the sweatshirt. I think that looks really cool. Adventures in Wonderland, Curiouser and Curiouser. That's neat looking. Let's open this up. Apparently this is the item that they were having issues with and this is why the box took a long time. I got it in a large. Okay, I'm glad I got it in a large. Okay, oh, there's a lot on here. Okay, <laughs> so this and all of that does have a bit of a funk to it, but I feel like that's always like that. Chapter one, down the rabbit hole. Oh, and it's, it like starts the beginning of the book. I can actually like read some of the first chapter, which is really, really cool. Okay, it's definitely on a bit of the oversized size. <laughs> it's, it is a bit on the oversized size, which works for me. It is a crew neck, it is not a hoodie. Uh, sleeves are very, very long. It's a very weird material on the inside. It's like this, like I was expecting like a fleecy kind of feeling, like I was expecting the outside of the sweatshirt to feel the same as the inside. And it's got more of like a, not latex, it's not latex. It's like, I don't know, it's just a weird texture. It's a weird texture. I don't know how I'm going to like it overall. It's almost like the inside of a jacket texture. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a sweatshirt I'm gonna have to see if I actually like just by wearing it for a day because this doesn't feel very breathable for fabric so I might sweat a lot in this and I don't I don't know though I'm gonna have to wear it for a full day and then I can decide like how I actually feel about it but otherwise it's cute I actually like it and it and it fits I feel like true to size so like my hair that was already messed up is even more messed up than it was before <laughs> which is great. Okay, so we are down to the actual book for this box, which is so exciting. I feel like I really needed a good copy of Alice in Wonderland because I don't have one, I don't think. And there's some really, really pretty editions, but this one's pretty great. <laughs> this one's pretty great. So here is the book. It looks so cool. I love this color scheme. It looks so good. I'm really impressed with this. Like, very, very happy with this. If this wasn't in the book box, I would probably try and buy this separately. It looks so good. And then look at the back. There's something very whimsical and like dark fairy tale about it, which I feel like is Alice in Wonderland. It's very child story, but like creepy at the same time. So I think that's so good. Oh, and it's both. I thought it was just Adventures in Wonderland, but it's also through the looking glass. So that's awesome. So we open it up and we have and the artwork oh, this looks so good the artwork there and then we have really cool artwork there that is some of the same artwork that is on the uh sweatshirt i believe actually the same on the back we have oh okay so people who like the classic look you've got this that's nice you can just put on that on there and it looks like a classic story and then the back is also mushrooms and yeah we've got some illustrations on it but i think the illustrations are from the original book yeah so everything else is from the original book so that is so cool do we have anything on the back oh, okay so if you don't like the, the, the other art you can go with this like a really cool old school looking art style which looks really really cool so either art style, like it's got something for everybody. Cause I also really, really like this one. And I, I don't know which one I like better, that one or that one. It's two very, very different art styles. That is so cool. That That is very, very well done. I forgot there's also edges. These edges look amazing. Yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> So good. I am very, very happy with this. Overall, I think this box is really, really good. They can be on a bit of the expensive side. Let's go over what is in the box. So we had a teapot, brew a cup of your favorite tea with a glass teapot designed by Typical Ghost. Drink Me Tea is from Riddle's Tea Shop. The Red Queen Candle is made by Natural Pure Honest. And then we have the exclusive White Rabbit Clock. Oh man, I hate doing handles. The Art of Nat, Hannah, Erica, potentially. Uh, and then the Pocket Watch is, it doesn't say who it was made, for, made by, but that's really cool. Other stuff on the back, enamel bookmark. 
<laughs> but that was when I was like, wait a minute. Uh, enamel bookmark is designed by Azura Arts, the crew neck sweatshirt by Typical Ghost as well. And the unplugged edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. The dust jacket was the art of Nat Hannah Erica. Reverse jacket by Stellar Dreams. Hardcover art by Typical Ghost. End pages by Stellar Dreams. Edges by Typical Ghost. And there is a ribbon bookmark. Yes, there is. I can see it. It's just a little red uh, ribbon bookmark. The next limited edition box coming soon, so you can order this one, is the Bed and Breakfast limited edition box for May 2024. It's kind of like a Mother's Day box. It's going to have a cozy and fun box that ships in May. Comes with an exclusive signed chick lit book. Exclusive add-on will be available to be announced. The full boxes will have lots of self-care and useful goodies. Great gift for yourself and all the mom-like figures in your life. So that is everything front and back. So I do think these boxes are expensive, but I really liked pretty much everything in here. I think it was a really, really good box. You had candles, you had the watch theme kind of going on throughout there, which I really liked. I think for Alice in Wonderland fans, this is a really, really good box. So I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, that's kind of like, to me, if you want to buy an unplugged themed box, kind of just think of the theme. If you like that type of theme, then you should try it out. Like you should go for it. Uh, for bed and breakfast, if you like self-care more items and chilling at home and doing that kind of stuff, then I would definitely try out that box. There'll probably be some sort of edible. There's probably going to be some sort of lotion or body wash or something like that or a soap bar or something similar like that and then it's gonna have like a romance theme almost probably to it so i think this is really good i was impressed with this uh yeah i'm happy with it again i would tell you if i wasn't <laughs> i would tell you if i wasn't but i generally think i liked yeah about everything that was in here so that's awesome okay so i might look a little different <laughs> I don't know how many uh, times you'll see a, a wardrobe change <laughs> because I just, because of my back, sometimes I'll get like pain and, and so I have to take a break and, and go do stuff. So this is actually like two days or three days later that I'm continuing this unboxing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm just a mess right now. I'm a mess right now. And two nights ago, I had like a re slight re-injury because I had to, I did physical therapy with my physical therapist and she's tough sometimes. And I think we overdid it a tiny bit on my neck. And then I also had to lay in an MRI for about 30 minutes in like a really rigid position. And so that was kind of tough. And so I think I, I just retweaked something, but it seems a little better. Last night I slept the whole night and it seems a little better this morning. So I think we're, we're back on track, we're back on track. So I figured I would continue with the unboxing since I'm doing okay this morning and I don't have anything to do today for once. I don't have any inspectors. I don't have any house visits, nothing. My house is finally under contract, uh, so I don't have to do anything today. So I'm just gonna lay down, get up and do physical therapy, heat and ice my back, uh, or neck really, and just have a chill day, hopefully. <laughs> have a chill day, hopefully. So anyway, that also did give me time to receive my adult owl crate in the mail, which I was not expecting. Uh, let's go through the book only options and then we will move on to the full boxes. So I figured I would show, I got a special edition in the mail. Again, I thought this was going to a different address, but I think I ordered it too early when we didn't know like when we were moving. Uh, but I got my iron flame edition in the mail. Very exciting. I, a lot of people, did not like this book, but I love this book. I thought this was so good. I loved it. I absolutely love this book. My best friend also loved this book. We read it about at the same time and obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. And I just love how like they look. They look so cool and it looks so good. Like it looks, it's centered. It looks so good. Oh, I absolutely love it. And then I love the end pages. This book is huge. I feel like my US edition is not nearly as big as like the fairy loot editions, but that looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. I just have that on the side, but that looks so cool. Oh, and then we have the end papers, which are awesome looking. I love how it looks. And I think they're the same on the back. Yeah, it's the same on the back. And then we have the signed page. Again, I don't know if it's, digital or real because this poor author has what is it Ehlers same thing that Violet has EDS 
and does not can't sign as many as many things and needs to take breaks but that looks real so either way i'm not a person who cares really if it's real or digital or anything it's just basically the author signed it something at some point and it's in here so that's fine with me but yeah this looks really really cool and then we have the inside of the dust jacket which is very similar to the very first one uh it might be almost a no okay i do see what's different uh yeah that looks really good it looks really good it also has a major spoiler on it i feel like yeah i feel like it's <laughs> it's kind of got a spoiler on it uh but it looks really good it's really i'm impressed with it it looks i'm, I'm very very impressed with it yeah that's kind of weird there's <laughs> There is a spoiler on the back of the dust jacket. So if you're, if you bought this, you won't, I, I think you won't understand until you read it, but that is kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, that is the copy of Iron Flame. I think it looks great. I'm very happy with it. And then moving on to my Alcrate Special Edition. I have already opened this. I did not think I was going to include this. I did not think I was going to include this in an unboxing because it came in an awkward time and I thought I'd be done with filming the unboxing by now. So I just opened it and I actually started reading it. I'm actually 87 pages into it, uh, but I stuffed it back in the box and we can kind of, kind of unbox it. But the March, is it February? No, it's February. Love at First Bite, February Adult Fantasy. So that's really cool. And let's look at the book. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I really like the original cover. So I don't know what I think about this. I've, I've struggled since I opened it like a couple days ago. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I kind of like it. I like the idea of, like, it looks very bridal. It looks kind of like Jane Austen-y a little bit. Kind of like a parody almost on Jane Austen. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. I really can't tell you. I like the simplicity of it. I think it looks really cool. <sighs> but I don't know if I actually really like it. If I do end up liking this book, I will be getting the original cover. Because I really, really, really like the original cover. So, yeah. Anyway, some of this is uh, interesting. So if you take the dust jacket off, <laughs> there's no edges or anything like that. Uh, if you take the dust jacket off, you have this cover, which I don't like, but it is good for people who want a more gothic look to it. But I personally am not a fan of it. It is very uh, reflective. I am personally not a huge fan of this side, so I definitely wouldn't reverse it. I would take anything she chose to give me the tiniest fraction for her entire world. So I'm not a fan. I like this side much better, but I still don't know if I like either side. Uh, I do love, I don't like the artwork that much on this side. I don't know. I'm so weird about this. I don't love how they look. That is not really how I pictured either one of them. So I feel kind of weird about that, but it's this gorgeous like matte feeling I will in this side. I love this side with the cat. <laughs> I love the cat. Uh, so I love this art style, but I don't love the rendition of the people in it, if that makes sense. Uh, so when you open it, I feel like this is a slightly not safe for work picture, I think. <laughs> um, I feel like I, I, I don't know if, I'm, if I can show this. <laughs> I think it's okay. There's nothing actually showing. They're hugging. They're hugging. If you don't want to see it, <laughs> skip ahead a little bit. Uh, they could just be hugging. I think they're just hugging. And then the back. I like the back one better, but it's weird. It weirds me out. I don't read these types of books normally. Like, to me, that's, that's her pet. It's not her pet. <laughs> I don't, I, it's weird. It's, and that's why I feel like I'm weirded out by this too, because it's weird <laughs> for me, for me personally. I just don't love shifter romance type things. And yeah, I don't know. It's weird. And then I did end up getting one of the signed copies. I did sign up because so the <laughs> Alcrate's really got to figure something out with these like big special editions that are going in their adult fantasy boxes because this is now the second time 
that they haven't had enough copies or thought they wouldn't have enough copies. So the first time it happened with the Serpent and the Wings of Night, they didn't have, think they had enough copies for subscribers. Uh, again, this, this one, there was a mistake at the printer and there aren't enough copies, signed copies from the printer. So you could sign up on this like waitlist thing that would be, you would get, I think a book plate instead and you would get like a, an, an, a special item from Allie Hazelwood. So I signed up for it because I don't care about signed books. <laughs> so I'm kind of sad I ended up getting the actual signed one, but I'm reading it. So I'm kind of happy I have it because that's what I'm reading right now. But yeah, so I have a signed page and the author letter and yeah, it's just, Al Crate, you really gotta, you really gotta figure out your printing issues because it's, again, it's not on your smaller like things, it's on your big releases. Like you, you really need to make sure your big releases are handled appropriately. And I feel like this is two misses already, two misses. Your two biggest books that you're putting in your fantasy box and you've had issues. So that's that's a little disappointing because I love Alcrate. I think Alcrate is the most reliable. I enjoy their boxes probably the most. I like Fairy Loot's books the best, but overall experience uh, is definitely Alcrate. But this is definitely kind of like ugh, a little bit of a red flag. So hopefully they kind of figure things out. Okay, we are moving on to, I think, Fairy Loot's book only. Again, these all should be February, I believe. I don't think I was so behind that they're January, but you, I never know. I never know. So I don't even think I've opened this one. Yeah, I haven't opened this one at all, which is crazy because I am normally opening things. Vikings and our book is a fate inked in blood. Oh yeah. Okay. I knew it was this because I really wanted to get the Barnes and Noble edition. The Barnes and Noble edition is so pretty but I knew I was getting this book in one of the boxes. I also am confused because I, this is the adult box, right? Book only adult box. I'm pretty sure a faint inked in blood is young adult. At least it is in the bookstores. <laughs> like it's by the young adult section. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna have to check if it actually is young adult or adult. Maybe it's one of those like mid-level ones, like in-betweens. Oh no, oh no, the peanuts. Oh no, please don't. Please don't do this to me. Okay, I lost one. I lost one. That wasn't, that wasn't that bad. Ooh, these edges are kind of cool. Okay, so here's a sneak peek of the edges. That's very cool. Looks very Celtic. I don't know, it's Vikings, isn't it? This is a Viking story. Uh, I don't want to get that wrong. Okay, uh, gorgeous artwork. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. This is like, I love this art style. That looks so cool. And then we have the author letter on the back. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, and then we have the book. Okay. I like the edges. I think the edges look really good. I don't know if I like this cover. Oh no. <laughs> um, I really like the Barnes and Noble edition. I feel like I need to read this soon so I can decide like if I like this book then I can go get the Barnes and Noble edition and potentially get rid of this edition maybe we'll see what's underneath because if it's on if the stuff is underneath I like uh, yeah I don't know if I like this <laughs> um it's just very different I feel like this is gonna work really well with the actual story but this is not the type of cover style that I really like I do like ooh ooh that looks really nice. Okay, I'm more sold now because this looks really nice. And you know what's funny? This would look really, really good next to their edition of uh, What the River Knows by Isabella Banez. This is a very similar vibe on the side, uh, just a different like culture. This looks really good. Okay, I'm happier with that. Nothing on the reverse. I was really hoping there was gonna be a reverse. We're going back to this type of style of the white cover with the full art on the front, which looks really, really good. I like this. I can see everything that's happening. The key with like gold foiling and just foiling in general on the top is I need to see what's happening on the book. Sometimes they get so busy that I can't see what's going on, but I can fully see what is happening in this book. So that is the side and there's nothing on the back. Gorgeous end pages. They look so good. It's the same as the artwork on the author letter, which is really cool. 
And then the back is different. It looks like our main male character on the back. That's pretty cool. And then we have the signed page. Yeah, that looks really good. Um, the rest of it looks good. I just don't know how I feel about the main cover. I don't know how I feel about the main cover, but I do really, really like the spine. The spine kind of saved it for me, so I'm happy with that. So I'm excited to read this one. This one looks really, really cool. I've heard some good things about this one already. So we'll see. I don't have the best luck with Viking books. I think this is Vikings. Norse inspired. Best selling author of The Bridge Kingdom. I have not read The Bridge Kingdom. So Norse inspired. I, again, I don't have the best of luck with these types of books sometimes, but I also have a five star. I think Adrian Young wrote something Norse mythology. Sky, Sky in the Deep, something like that. I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. This could be a, a mixed results one. All right, we are down to two boxes and they should both be February. Was this one February? This was February 2024. Okay, so, so far, <laughs> so good. These two have the same book that I know of. I believe they're the same book. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to see the differences between the two of them. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen the fairy loot one and it's like... <laughs> so I'm really excited to see them. And I don't know what the owl crate looks like, so I'm excited. So here we have... The Elk Crate full box. And we have Treacherous Love Elk Crate. And yes, February 2024. So we'll look at that later. First up, we have what I'm guessing is probably it's flat. The Royalty Drinkware. It's flatter than a normal mug. So interesting. Royalty Drinkware Collection. Well, it is a mug. It just didn't feel like one. Oh, it is like shorter. Okay, this looks like the Cruel Prince to me. This is definitely the Cruel Prince. So we have, this is nice. I bet you either in here or the next one is gonna be like a saucer, but it's he this is hefty. This is very hefty, it's very nice. Yeah, that looks really good. And then we have Ooh, uh, if I cannot be better than them, I will become so much worse. And that's what's on the inside. So that looks really cool with the little acorns. So this is really nice. I like this. I, it's, it's hard not to like a mug that I'm sent. <laughs> it, just, it has to be really ugly. <laughs> Belladonna spoon set. Oh, I don't like spoon sets either. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, these are really cute though. Okay, are they the same thing? No, they are They are physically the same, but the uh, thing is different, the quote. Come to stab me again, or hello little bird. I love that, I love that. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you one because they're the same physically, but they're cute. I will give them that, they're cute. So I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of them because uh, I've been purging a lot of book box stuff, like stuff that I, like thought I would use and then I found and I haven't used it for years. So it's been an interesting experience purging all my stuff. So that's an okay item. Kind of go, oh, you know, it goes with like the teacup. That would make sense. Next item is, what is this? <laughs> Lace, etern, nope, oven mitt. It's an oven mitt, I can't read that. Inspired by Scarlet Veil. I have not read that yet, but I love this, okay. It's a heart. It's heart shaped and it has little little things. So you put your hand. That's adorable. Okay, I love this. <laughs> I love this. This is a different type of design. This is actually really really nice and it's got like the heat stuff on the inside. So you really it really should work really well. Um, I am obsessed with this. I love this. Okay. I, weirdly, why is that my favorite item out of all? <laughs> Probably because I burned myself more than once recently. So gotta have that uh, protection while cooking. Perfect pairings, number two of 12. Oh, what were these? These last one was the moving one, Howl's Moving Castle, I think. So there's this one. Does it say what it is? Belladonna. So another Belladonna item. Oh man, it's another one of those. Okay. So the whole collection is going to be this style, which I'm not a huge fan of because they're kind of, they're wonky. Oh no. Okay, I was hoping this was not gonna be the case. Yeah, they're, 
See, this is doing the exact same thing where it's like hanging sideways. And I don't think that's intentional. It should look like this. Whoever is like, whoever's making the design isn't doing it correctly. So it's hanging like that. It should be up and you should just be able to slide it over. When it slid over, nope, see, it's, it still goes sideways. That's really disappointing to be honest because these are really pretty pins and you really need to work out your mechanisms before you send them out. So this is a really big kind of, if it was, again, if this one came perfectly and it was just my Howl's Moving Castle one that came funky, fine. But this is now two in a row that are not sitting the way they're supposed to. They're supposed to sit like this. I don't know why you would sit it like this. Oh man, now I'm sad. Cause I love getting those types of, like I love getting pins. And those just are so obnoxious. Nondescript little very light envelope, nothing metal in here. Stickers or page overlays? It could, well, these are too small for page overlays. A sticker, ooh, a fancy sticker. Ooh, this looks cool. Okay, this is, these are one of those really nice stickers that can be pretty expensive. Uh, the bright star holds even as the darkness rises. Don't have a guess for that. Maybe the night circus, potentially. I don't know, I haven't read the night circus, but that's really, really pretty. It's like a nice big vinyl sticker. These actually are, <laughs> they're pretty expensive because I buy vinyl stickers, so that's good. Okay, it looks like we're down to the book, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five items. Okay, we are down to the book. Let me unwrap it first. I'm already not impressed. <laughs> okay, so here is, the book. Heartless Hunter. I've seen this kind of, it was on NetGalley as like free for a while. Um, don't like it. Yeah, I, uh, I just don't really like the design. Mm. This is a game, it's only pretend some green sprayed edges and it looks like we also have a bookmark which I do like I like that there's a bookmark the inside okay that's really pretty I like that the end pages are really 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 pretty that looks so good uh, if you notice I'm not doing any synopses just because I can't, I can't sit still for that long so I'm not doing synopses in this uh, we do have a, a decent amount of customization so we've got some foiling on the front and it says you can't renounce your own heart there's that and then on the back very pretty. I'm afraid you'll be the end of me. I feel like that's a, that's a, that's a line we've seen in a lot of books. <laughs> so this is obviously fantasy romance. <laughs> the Owl Crate author letter and a signature by the author Kristen Siccarelli is how I'm guessing it's pronounced. So very exciting. That looks pretty cool. I'm happier with how that looks than the actual cover. And then we have, nope, don't like it. <laughs> I'm excited that there's a ballroom scene, uh, but I'm not a fan, sadly. I don't like this artwork. So, overall, overall miss. Overall miss with the book. So let's look at spoilers and stuff like that. So the original cover, yeah, the original cover looks so much better. Like even on here, it looks so much better. So that's the original cover. And that's the operate cover. And I like that. I don't love that, but it looks way better. Like that looks way better. So yeah, sad, so sad. Let's look at the spoilers and then we'll look at the spoiler for March. Uh, Treacherous Love, spoiler warning, the 2024 collection, the Royalty Drinkware collection. It is inspired by The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, designed by Lindsay Hook or at Off The Hook Studio and Pearl Reader. Lay's Eternal's Oven Mitt, uh, inspired by the Scarlet Veil, done by Wandering Moda. Consume all your favorite meals with our fancy spoon set, inspired by Belladonna, and designed by Azura Arts. The stained glass, oh, stained glass window decal. Okay, it is designed by Vera Drum Drumanovsky, or Sarah Drumanovsky uh, on Instagram, and is inspired by Dark Rise. It is easily removable and reusable. Okay, the second pin in our Perfect Pairings collection, it is uh, done by Sire Art, 
and it is Belladonna, and it is Cigna and Death Dancing Through the Night. Our book selection is Heartless Hunter, and our signed edition features an exclusive cover created by Vera Dramovsky. Uh, flip over the dust jacket and you'll find stunning art by Zarin Baksh and the reversible, on the reversible dust jacket art. I mean, I'm struggling reading this. <laughs> well, I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Also find an exclusive foil stamp on the hardcover designed by Vicki Lester or Forensics and Flowers. Inside the book features a gorgeous foil pattern and page designed by Lindsay Hook or Off Hook Studio and author Kristen Siccarelli uh, did the author letter and there's bonus content for the subscribers. So that is all the spoilers. Let's talk about next month. Secrets and masks. Ooh, that sounds good. Every March box will include a unique item designed by Sajra Fox, which is perfect for dragon lovers. If you're already a subscriber, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is, oh, I loved this bookmark. Uh, that's the artist. I love that bookmark. It's one of my favorite bookmarks. Okay, so overall, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the box like two stars. It's okay. It's okay. The book being meh definitely hurts the rating quite a bit. Okay, we are down to our last unboxing, and that is Fairy Loot. And again, I I think it's the same book. I think it's the same book. It might not be. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, where is the spoiler card? Oh no, it's gonna be at the bottom. Okay. I believe that this is February. I don't have the spoiler card. It'll be at the very bottom. So we will look at that at the very bottom. We have another mug. Let's do that first. I was supposed to read this book. I was gonna read all the fantasy choices and that didn't happen, but it is a mug by the Jassad Air. What is with the goose with a knife? That makes me wanna read the book more because that sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> like, why is there a goose with a knife? Okay, ooh, and it's, ooh. Okay, 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 I'm excited. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks so cool. A clear mug, I've always wanted a clear mug. It looks so good. This is definitely one, do not put this in the dishwasher. I'm reminding myself, yeah, these are decals. Don't put this in the dishwasher, they will come off. Uh, she had the temperament of a deranged goose. I like that. I like that. I would love somebody to describe me that way. I feel like my coworkers would. They would describe me that way. I'm gonna send them a text after this and ask them. Uh, yeah, I love this. This is amazing. I love this item. I love the clear. It looks so good. Sad part is I have to repackage all this stuff because I'm moving. So all this stuff is going in the garage <laughs> where all of our other stuff is. So I'm trying to make sure it's all packed up really nice for the move. So nothing gets broken, which is super fun. I'm really terrified all my stuff is gonna be broken. <laughs> okay, we have a hat. Okay, okay. I like it, Basquiat. That looks pretty good. And I, I was worried because the material felt like corduroy and I do not like the feel of corduroy, but Looking cute. Looking cute right here. Right? I love this. This is great. I look adorable, right? I look so adorable. Uh, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'll be wearing this. I will be wearing this, just not when it's raining. This would be ruined <laughs> if it rains, probably. Uh, yeah, that's cute. I like this. And it actually fits and it's adjustable in the back, so it should fit mostly everybody, which is really cool. And it, I like when there's items that are like unisex items. So anybody would look good in this. Like this could be masculine or feminine. So that's pretty cool. Okay, next item we have, I'm assuming a bag, right? Yes, it is a bag. It's about time we got a bag. This is a big bag. Dang, this is huge. It's very pretty too. I love the color scheme. Oh, I love the color scheme. We've got Stocking Jack the Ripper. This is how you lose the time war, Ace of Shades, which is Stephen Gold. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I've read a lot of these. <laughs> Shatter Me, Daughter of the Pirate King, Fourth Wing. 
these hollow vows. This looks so good. Are these all the books? No, because there's the night circus. I was gonna say, is these, are these all the books that they that they did? I don't know. This looks really good. Very happy with this. The Crimson Moth Friendship Keychains. Oh my gosh, designed by Layla Ashtar Shrine. Okay. I follow them on Instagram. They have the coolest stuff, but I never order anything because, oh, where are they from? They're from a country that has really high ship rates. I wanna say it's France. I wanna say it's France. And I pretty much don't ship anything from Europe because the shipping rate is so expensive. So I have never bought anything from them, but I obsessively follow them on Instagram and want all their stuff. So, I'm like really nervous and I really hope I like whatever this is. Oh, what is this? Oh, I love it. I love it. It looks so cool. Friendship keychains. I absolutely love this. I think this looks so, so cool. I'm very happy with this. And it's for the Crimson Moth. Have I heard of that? Okay. Are we done in the book already? I think we're down to the book already. Uh, we do have, huh, I think I accidentally, they gave me, yeah, this was from another book box. Like this was from last January. I wonder if they made a mistake and they sent another one, but I didn't, I didn't realize there was this mistake if there was, but this is the, these are the ones actually. Page of Moons and Night of Moons. These are really pretty. I don't know. Pink hair. The only thing with pink hair is, what is it, Once Upon a Broken Heart? But this doesn't vibe Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I'm guessing this is probably the book of the month, is my assumption. Okay, so let's look at the book. We've got some black sprayed edges. Those look pretty good. Black sprayed edges are always like hit or miss because they can be very like choppy if you don't do them correctly. Here's the fairy scoop. We'll look through that in a second. And I'm always trying to get the stuff out. And then we have, yeah, that was definitely, okay. So I bet, I bet that, that it's the characters from this, but bookmark. And then do we have an author letter? I don't see an author letter. So it might be on the inside. Okay, so it goes this way. Yeah, this is what I saw. This is what I saw. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is stunning. Huh. The Crimson Moth, same author. So is the, is the book the same? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm confused. I need assistance. It's the same book. Heartless Hunter in the United States, Crimson Moth in the UK. That's interesting. I wonder why they did that. And it says it's the Crimson Moth duology. I am beyond confused, but that's okay. So it is the same book. It is the same book. This, love so much more. This is every vibe of every vibe. We're vibing so much with this book. I love it. It looks so, it's, it's stunning. I mean, it's gorgeous. And then the side is very simple. And then we have the back. I'm impressed. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, there's so much happening with this already. Oh, this is pretty too. So if you don't like people on the cover, uh, they gave you a reverse dust jacket that looks just as pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, Fairy Lou absolutely knocked it out of the park like absolutely knocks it out of the park because we also have gold well it's kind of rosy gold yeah I would say it's rose gold not full rose gold there's a little bit of gold gold tint in there but that looks really good the side is really pretty and I like that it says book one and then that, this is just so good I like moths I think that's also what's helping is I really like moths <laughs> oh my gosh I can it's so pretty <laughs> It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this looks crazy. So again, Kristen Siccarelli. I, I don't know if that's exactly how you say your last name. There is the author letter. I'm so happy. This is not signed. Okay, 
I am impressed. I think Fairloot's box overall was way better. Oh, but now I have a giant stack of very pretty books that I get to read. I'm very excited. I'm gonna basically go eat some breakfast and edit this <laughs> and go read Bride because I really am enjoying it weirdly enough. I wasn't expecting to like it and I'm very much enjoying it. So hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Lots of books and boxes and things everywhere just because I didn't have time to unbox them earlier. So I think this is mainly, this was mainly all February. I think it was all February. So this was your February unboxing minus the Illumicrates because I sent the Illumicrates early to my parents because I didn't think that they would come on time. And I thought the February ones were gonna come at the end of March like they sometimes do. But of course they were actually the ones that came in first before everything else. So that's fun. So we'll, you'll we'll see the February unboxings for Illumicrate. Uh, it's just gonna be next month. It's gonna be next month. So you get like, you're gonna get multiple Illumicrate unboxings all at once. So that should be fun. Maybe I'll just do a separate Illumicrate unboxing. Anyway, I had a fun time. It's been a while since I did an unboxing. I forgot how much I enjoyed them. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, make sure to comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, what boxes you get, which ones you're thinking about getting, all that kind of stuff. I know all the information. <laughs> so you can ask any questions. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.